So I've come to expect half of the equation from supply siders, and I got to tell you, I'm I'm almost never disappointed. <laughs> you know, your recent video on price gouging saving lives, you're trying to present the negative feedback of increased gouging prices as controlling the amount of hoarding people can do. That's only half the truth. That's only part of the equation. There's a time element to all this too, and that is people in anticipation of price gouging will begin hoarding. That the, that the hoarding and the price gouging is a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's a positive feedback loop. It's a classic bubble economics. It's people speculating on what they believe the future is going to be. Okay, And if they all believe the same thing, if they all believe there's going to be price gouging and hoarding, then that's going to fulfill itself. That's a positive feedback loop. Okay, So there's positive feedback loop that causes the runaway price gouging to begin with. It's not a negative feedback loop. The fact that people speculate on price gouging is the reason why there is price gouging at all. It's not a control mechanism. Okay, If people thought the prices would be the same, if they didn't think there was going to be a shortage, there would be no change in the spending habits. Okay, People believe there's going to be a shortage, there's going to be price gouging, they stock up, they hoard, they get as much as they can get their hands on, and maybe sell it to friends later. Okay, It's, it's hoarding, it's, a, it's speculation. It's classic bubble economics. All right. Now, what's the solution to that? I don't think it's purely price gouging. I can I can justify the cost increasing in an emergency situation because it's more difficult to transport there. I can see some price increase, but price gouging, I don't think that's a good idea. I think it's very necessary for people to understand that there's not going to be a shortage. There's not going to be a shortage because we've got enough resources to give people water, okay? Uh, give them enough so they can last a certain number of days. In California, in fact, we, we tell people to have enough resources to last three days. Three days is about what it will take to bring the infrastructure back up, more or less, okay? So if you can survive three days, you're doing pretty good. You don't have to su survive for a month, okay? And chances are, if you've got a water heater, you've got enough water in your water tank to last you, okay? For three days. Easy, okay? <laughs> um, Hoarding is just this mass hysteria. Price gouging is people preying upon mass hysteria. It's bubble economics, okay? So it's not all negative feedback loops. There's positive feedback loops in economics as well, which supply-siders seem to completely ignore. So that's all for now.